just going to run you through draining down the water system for periods where you're going to get sort of sub-zero. Um, we're just coming into lockdown. Uh, I can't imagine that I'm going to get a chance to use the camper for the next month or so. Um, and it's probably going to be quite cold. So we may as well do this now. First thing we're going to do is make sure that the pump is off. It's pointless, uh, pointless running the, or pointless draining the system and having the pump on, trying to sort of pump water around everywhere. So pumps off. So the first thing we're going to do is drain the boiler. On the Celtic Motorhomes boxer conversions, the boiler is under the seat. If you look down the side, the yellow switch or sort of flap is the toggle switch to drain the boiler. If you wanted to isolate the boiler at a later stage, there's um, an on off switch or a sort of, you know, an isolating valve, I should say. So if you wanted to isolate the boiler at any time, then you could turn this isolating switch. But for the purposes of today, we're just going to literally drain the entire system. So flip that up. You can probably hear water draining. I'll just run outside and show you the water's draining underneath. The water's coming out just above where the gas tank is. So that's draining the boiler. We're going to lift up each tap. Do the same in the bathroom. We'll lift the tap, vacuum to form. Then we're just going to go outside and empty the fresh water tank as well. So fresh water tank. And I'll leave mine empty. I'll leave it em uh, open. The opportunity then I would definitely recommend parking so that the van is facing slightly downhill and leaning slightly to the driver's side. That That's where the tank's empty from. So uh, if you can do that, then you'll get the most out of the tank. Your main thing though is basically allowing the boiler to to empty.